Hello my dear friends, I hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about The Bad Batch Season 2, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and more. As always my dear friends, before we get into it, please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below, and please be sure to give that bell a good old tickle to be alerted every time that I post a new video. So without much further ado, and without any more jibber jabber, let's get straight to the news. What an amazing day for Star Wars fans it was yesterday. I love the Kenobi teaser trailer, and we're going to be speaking about that in a little bit. But right now, we kick things off with some bad news for The Bad Batch Season 2. As we know, yesterday was Disney's annual Shareholders Day, and during the presentation, Bob Chapek previewed the various shows and movies coming to Disney Plus in 2022. When he finally got onto Star Wars, he highlighted the Andor series and Obi-Wan Kenobi, branding them as the remaining Star Wars shows coming this year. And as we know, Know this was followed by that amazing first teaser trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi, but a lot of fans noticed that the Bad Batch was not mentioned at all, and given recent events to do with the show, this was a bit worrying. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, Lucasfilm removed the coming Spring 2022 label for the Bad Batch Season 2 in Star Wars Insider, and instead they replaced it with the simple Coming Soon. This, on top of the silence from Bob Chapek, has me thinking that there's going to be more of a delay than we realise. I really hope not, but that's what it seems to be. Now, on the other hand, it is worth mentioning that he may have been referring to the fiscal year of 2022, which ends in September of this year. If the Bad Batch Season 2 releases in October to December, that would count as fiscal quarter 1 of 2023, so that might explain why the Bad Batch was not mentioned, but realistically, with all of the signs that point to a delay, I wouldn't be surprised if it's quite a while until we see the Bad Batch again. Worst case scenario, it releases next year, but I doubt it's going to come to that. If it does, it'd be such a shame. The Bad Batch Season 2 was confirmed to be coming in 2022, but there has been nothing but radio silence on it ever since that announcement last August. The weird thing with The Bad Batch Season 2 is that all the way back in September, Michelle Ang shared a progress picture on Instagram, and in there she stated that production and voice recording were going really well for the upcoming second season. Animation delays are very rare compared to live action, so it's no wonder that many of us are wondering what's going on. I've seen some people argue that maybe what Bob Shapek highlighted yesterday was just the remaining live action content, but he did not explicitly make that distinction. He matter-of-factly showed the logos for Andor and Kenobi slated for this year. Another theory is that they were only showing the new series that are coming out, Technically, The Bad Batch and The Mandalorian are not new shows. They're going into their second and third seasons, respectively. Whereas the Andor series and Obi-Wan Kenobi are brand new. And I'm certainly not complaining about those shows. The Kenobi teaser was epic and gave us a taste at the emotional and intense show that is to come. And concerning Andor, that is also set to be a huge one too, being the first spy thriller in the franchise, as well as being a dark prequel to Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. I hope we get some clarification soon soon on the Bad Batch situation. But right now, the next project to drop, which everyone is focused on, is the Kenobi series on May the 25th, with the Andor series coming in summer to early fall, and if we're lucky, the Mandalorian season 3 this December, which was also left out of the presentation, although nothing for Mando has been officially confirmed yet. Now, for all we know, a Bad Batch Season 2 announcement will follow the Kenobi series, but right now Lucasfilm wants to focus all of their marketing on the Kenobi show, considering it's just over two months away. I still believe and hold out hope that the Bad Batch Season 2 is still coming this year, and it makes sense if it releases in the same year as Andor and Kenobi. All three are prequel shows, and while there is slight variation in the exact points in the timeline, they could all bear some kind of overlap. Just to reiterate, because I do get this question quite a lot, Kenobi is 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, Andor is 5 years after the Kenobi series, and The Bad Batch Season 2 is probably going to be set in the year following Order 66. And this is considering we were told that there would be a small time gap. It could be longer though, but let's just call it the first few years after the Clone Wars. But overlapping them in some way would make for a rewarding trope for fans who watched all three. And you know, there were rumours that Obi-Wan is going to appear in the Andor series. I spoke to Making Star Wars, and they say that report is fake news, and Obi-Wan is not going to be in the Andor show. But as I say, my dear friends, for The Bad Batch Season 2, I hope we get an official update soon, but things aren't looking too hopeful for the series right now. So now, my dear friends, let's move on, let's talk about something way more positive, the Kenobi teaser trailer. Yesterday was a huge day for the show, the Entertainment Weekly photos, and then the teaser. And the highlight of the trailer for me were the Inquisitors. On top of Raver, the third sister, we got some Rebels fan favourites, 
the fifth brother and the Grand Inquisitor, but we also got a glimpse at a new female Inquisitor who's not been given a name yet. After some digging, it turns out she is a Thradian, which is a super deep cut species that first appeared in the Star Wars Rebels magazines. Some people said that this Inquisitor is a Thalothian, but she can't be due to the horns, and unless it's a new species altogether that is similar, she looks to be a Thradian. And speaking of the Inquisitors, the big talk of the town is how the fifth brother and Grand Inquisitor look. Some fans are very unhappy, and admittedly, the design style stood out. Now obviously it's never going to be the same as animation, but they did go with a deliberately very different design. But admittedly, it looks like they went out of their way to make it look different. And in the Grand Inquisitor, case, who is a Powan, a species we saw in Revenge of the Sith, they didn't even keep him in line with that design for the species. I think it's just going to take some getting used to. Rupert Friend is the Grand Inquisitor, and while many people, myself included, wanted Jason Isaacs who voiced him in Rebels, Rupert Friend can put on a very intimidating performance. But let me know what you think of the designs of the live-action Inquisitors down below. Now there were so many callbacks in the trailer to Rebels and even Jedi Fallen Order. We had the Fortress Inquisitorius on the moon of Nur, and I think to this end, fan service is going to play a major role in this series, and I think that's a great thing. With a series that is centered around some iconic legacy characters, you kind of expect that. This is shaping up to be quite a treat for all Star Wars fans, and I can't wait to get back into full episode breakdowns. Now speaking of the Kenobi teaser trailer, some fans think they've spotted Tomer Morrison in it. In the scene on the new planet of Dayu when the Grand Inquisitor is interrogating a citizen. Some fans have stated that the back of this citizen's head looks a lot like that of Tomar Morrison. Now we know that Tomar Morrison is in this series, and we know he's going to be playing some clones in flashback sequences. But given that this is not a flashback, could the Grand Inquisitor be interrogating a surviving clone who was in contact with Obi-Wan Kenobi? Others believe that this citizen is Kamel Nanjiani's character, who is reportedly going to be a confidant of Bail Organa. There is no way to know at this point, but the character seen in the trailer certainly has a strong resemblance to Tamara Morrison, at least from the back. Now, until yesterday, I would have said this could be Commander Cody, but making Star Wars who've gotten all of their leaks right so far are saying he's not in this show. So if it is Tamara Morrison, it would have to be another surviving clone. The Inquisitors are on to Kenobi's scent, and they're not going to rest until they find the Jedi Master. All capable Imperial troops are going to be brought to aid them, and we're in for something really intense. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts of this and everything else we spoke about in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and a massive welcome as always if you are. And if you want more videos not found here on YouTube, the link to my Patreon is down there in the description. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I'll be back in my next video where we're going to be discussing a huge Kenobi scoop. Look out for that, it's coming very soon. But until the next one, my dear friends, may the Force be with you always. I'm Star Wars Meg, have a good one.